You don't understand. Teresa, I, I, I know what Gwen and I saw. When Dr. Walker said that Jonathan was struggling, you literally looked relieved that it was my son that was having trouble. I, I, I of wasn't. all the expressions on your face, a relieved smile was not one that I thought I would see. Dr. Walker, what is wrong with Jonathan exactly? Well, he developed a fever. Uh, not worth treating it, of course, but uh, given his fairly weakened condition going into surgery, this could be serious. Gee, this should, uh, should really make your day, Teresa. You know, please don't let us keep you from sprinting to the chapel to pray that Jonathan dies so Ethan and I won't be connected. I don't want Jonathan to die, Gwen. You of all people should know that. Teresa, please explain to me why you had a look of relief on your face when you found out Jonathan wasn't doing well. No, she didn't. Okay, what was it then? I think my sister is relieved that both children came through surgery alive. She's right, Ethan. I wouldn't want anything bad to happen to any of your children. You need to believe that. I did believe that until I saw the look on your face of relief when you found out Jonathan was struggling. Look, I'm sorry that I upset you. And you too, Gwen. Teresa, just reverse the situation, please. If little Ethan were in that operating room and you were waiting to hear how he was doing. I mean, think about that. Maybe you would understand how we feel. I understand why you're upset. You think that I was rooting for Jonathan's liver donor being well over your son. But I wasn't. Look. Ethan Jane, she was going to donate part of her liver to Jonathan, but, you know, she got the ear infection. So I wouldn't champion one child over the other. Maybe we should dig up Sarah and see if she believes you. One stop. Yes, one. You know you're not being fair to my sister. Doctor, doctor, um, what's next? Thank you. For sticking up for me, I appreciate it. I mean, I hate Jonathan being sick. But, uh, I mean, I would be lying if I wasn't relieved that little Ethan isn't in danger. And does that make me a horrible person? Of course not. Well, Ethan thinks I'm a monster. And this is just like the latest misunderstanding to make him angry with me. I don't know. I think I would rather die than um, spend the rest of my life knowing that Ethan hates me.